There's a guy called Trevor Noah, who's a South African comedian who does The Daily Show, which used to be done by John Stewart. It used to be a pretty good show, but Trevor Noah has completely and utterly bastardised the whole idea of The Daily Show because he tells lies, he makes things up, and he makes arguments which are based on complete and utter falsehoods. Have a look at this. Watching the story of Rishi Sunak becoming England's first prime minister of colour, of Indian descent, of all of these things, and then seeing the backlash is one of the more telling... Um, it, it's just one of the more telling things about how people view the role that they or their people have played in, in history. And what I mean by that is this. You hear a lot of the people saying, oh, you, you, they, they're taking over. They, you, you, you know, now the Indians are going to take over Great Britain and, and what's next and what... And, I, I, and I, I always find myself going, so what? No, no, but, but stick with me here. So, so what? What are, you, what are you afraid of? Right, all of them, all of them. You, you see people in the UK, you see people like Tucker Carlson all the time saying, uh, you, you know what they're trying to do? They, you know, they, they, they won't stop until black people and, and women are in p positions of power. So what? <laughs> no, no, and, and I don't say that as like a, oh, yes, let's do that. Or not. I'm saying, so why are you so afraid? And I think it's because the quiet part that a lot of people don't realize they're saying is, we don't want these people who were previously oppressed to get into power because then they may do to us what we did to them. I mean, I don't think there's any part of what he just said which is in any way true. I've seen no backlash whatsoever to the appointment of Rishi Sunak. In fact, it is only the people on the left of politics who are so obsessed with the fact that Rishi Sunak is in fact a Hindu and is in fact of Indian descent. As I said the other day, Rishi Sunak to me is British. It's as simple as that. It has nothing to do <coughs> with, his, with his skin colour, absolutely nothing at all. And for Trevor Noah to take that Joe Biden argument and turn it into a mass media statement in front of an audience, many of whom are wearing masks by the way, which tells you what side of the political divide they're on, because I'm afraid it does, that Trevor Noah is a disgrace. The fact that he would even allege that there's a backlash is racist in itself. But of course, he's got history for that, hasn't he? He likes to think of himself as a controversial comedian. He's made jokes about the Holocaust in the past, you know? He's got himself into trouble for all sorts of reasons. He got into trouble making jokes about um, the Aborigines when he went to Australia. But I'm not having him making out that the people of this great country of ours are racist because we are simply not. America, of course, is completely different. Maybe he should talk about that a bit more. That's the country where black people get shot dead by the police for being black. That's the country uh, where they haven't yet even managed to elect a woman president. That's the country where they've got more ghettos than South Africa. Maybe he should figure out what's going on in his own country before he starts picking on the UK. We happen to be a rather forward-thinking nation. We are properly multicultural, unlike America. There are still parts of America which are completely white, where nobody goes, unless they're white. So I think Trevor Noah needs to say sorry for all of that. Luckily for him, Plank of the Week is up this afternoon. He might find himself on the list.